Good morning, I'm Dr. Ian Young with Tybee Wellness out of Savannah and the American Academy of Manipulative Therapies Fellowship in Musculoskeletal Ultrasound. I'm here today to perform a ultrasound guided dry needling procedure to the lateral elbow. So first thing we're going to do is look at some basic structures in the elbow. Um, then we're going to get the patient set up for a procedure of dry needling. So the first thing we're going to do is have the patient set up in the supine position medial elbow on the table and the hand on the hip so the elbow is at about 75 to 90 degrees. Then we're going to place the probe in long axis view and we're going to get the view of the humeral radial joint and we're going to look at some important structures right up front so we can get an idea where we are. We're going to look at the lateral epicondyle, and then we're going to see the joint and then we're going to see the radial head. Spanning that joint is the radial collateral ligament and that runs about halfway up the slope of the lateral epicondyle. And then just superficial to that, we are going to have the lateral epicondyle and the common extensor origin, okay? So once we get the probe lined up in the longitudinal or lax position, we're gonna slide that probe a little more cranially because we have to get the needle in a long way. Then what we're gonna do is take the needle at a very shallow angle and we're going to progress towards the lateral epicondyle okay and until we make contact with a bony backdrop of the lateral epicondyle okay and once we're there if the patient has long-standing chronic tendinosis we're probably going to do a little pecking on the periosteum to create some influx of a new healing we will stay there and peck for a few seconds and then pull the needle out. Okay, and that is the ultrasound guided uh, dry needling procedure for the lateral elbow and the common extensor origin.